Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial and in this one I'm gonna show you how to make Future House with FL Studio stock plugins only. So we are going to be only using the plugins that are in FL Studio right when you buy it. I'm using the producer edition so everything that is in producer edition that is what we are going to be using. And before we get started I just started my own merch store so make sure to check it out. You can get some cool t-shirts or hoodies for example like this piano roll t-shirt or this musical idea hoodie and if that's something you're into check it out now let's get back to the video before anything i set the bpm to 128 now for the drums we have this really basic drum beat just a kick and a clap the kick is from kashmir sample pack which you can get on splice link will be below in the description and this clap is actually from fl studio in case some of you didn't know you can go to packs drums and there is actually a lot of claps and other drum samples. Some people might miss it, so I thought I would point that out. There's actually tons of uh, samples here and instruments as well. So that's where we got the clap. It's called Power Club Snare 2. So let's put the drums in the playlist. And in the second repetition of the drums, let's add an open hi hat, which is from my house sample pack that you can actually get in a bundle right now. I'm doing this big fat Christmas bundle which has pretty much all the styles imaginable you just choose a genre like dubstep you get presets future bass you get a bunch of future bass packs maybe house you get tech house future house wobble house so all the styles you can think of are in here in this bundle and you can get it right now original price of this should be around 500 dollars because of all the packs combined so yeah but for the Christmas it's uh, discounted like 90 percent almost so Check it out, link will be in the description below as well. So I got this hi-hat and I actually pitched it down a little bit so the sound changes just slightly. And that's the hi-hat. Works just fine. And then along with the hi-hat, I actually I also add this hi-hat loop. Which just makes the hi-hats even more exciting and it sounds like this. This loop is also from the same sample pack. So yeah, that's our drums ready to go. Now let's move on to the more exciting stuff. So first we got the bass. And for the bass I'm using quite a lot of layers of sounds. But don't worry, it's pretty simple and they are all simple to make. And half of them are presets and half of them are made in 3 times oscillator. So, let's start from the top one, which is this one. Also, FLP file of this project is available, link below. So first we have this bass using the first oscillator on a square wave. I'm pretty sure that's a square wave. And what I change is the face, so you can move this to affect the sound slightly. And also I detuned it by three. As you can see in the top left corner, you can see how many cents you are detuning it by. So do three. That's the basis of the sound, but then we can go to envelope and enable the envelope and just uh, set it up like this. Basically just change the decay, sustain and release and all these are on zero. And then I played around with a filter, which is changed to low pass filter and just move these two knobs. This position, this position. And then you get this sound. Also, for the effects, I have EQ on it and I deleted all the low frequencies because if we didn't, it would be pretty much a sub bass. But we will have sub bass for another sound, so delete the low frequencies with the EQ. And then I have Maximus on it with this newer compression preset and I just lowered the pre gain so it wasn't that loud and it sounds like this. So, what the your compression does it pushes the volume of the sounds that are quieter so every sound that is quieter is pushed up so it becomes louder the whole sound becomes more fat and then i also have sound goodies on it because i like putting sound goodies on everything right and that's pretty much the only reason that's our first sound it's a really nice like bounce bass then we have this sound which is a sub bass. So the way I made this one is I have a sine wave here and a square wave. And then we go to envelope and filter. The envelope is set up like this. I actually duplicated the first sound and just adjusted it to save some time. And then we have low pass filter times two. And basically that's all we changed there. You change it to times two, it affects the sound a bit more, but the position of the knobs is the same as the previous sound. However, this one is on track number four. And for the effects on this one, we have sound goodies there as well. 
Sound Gizzer just makes everything a bit louder and more compressed. And then we have Gross Beat, which is for sign chaining. So just choose the sign chain preset and I adjusted these points and put them higher on the grid. And that's pretty much it for this sound. The first sound was also sidechain with the same preset. Then we have this sound, which is just a white noise. But it adds to the bass sounds, it makes them more clicky. And maybe it doesn't sound as good alone, but in the whole mix it sounds pretty good. So the way you make this sound, you just change the waveform to random, which creates the white noise. And then I go to filters, again set up the envelope like this, so it's more of a clicky sound. And we have a low pass filter, but the filter is like high up here and that really transforms the sound. So you can play around with this, adjust it so it fits your mix. This value just felt right in the whole mix. Then we have this sound, which is similar to the first one a bit, but it's a shorter version of that one. So here we have a saw wave instead. And again, I adjusted the face and the tune it a bit and played around with the filter again. This time we have fast low pass. And the effects are the same as the first sound. So just the uh, deleted low frequencies have maximums on it. And basically I wanted to create another clicky sound. So together they sound like this. Pretty decent. Next sound we have is actually from Harmless. So this one is called Blue Sunday SF and you can find it in the bass sounds Blue Sunday. Yeah, that's, that's the one. And it sounds like this. Still using the same effects, no sub bass. For sure, delete the sub bass from all the sounds except the actual sub bass. And then Maximus and Sound Gizzer, also sign chained. Then we have this sound, which is from Citrus, and it's called Perk. And it's another one of those high frequency sounds. And then we have this sound, which is a more of a orchestral pizzicato or whatever it's pronounced like. And you can find it in the, the orchestral sounds in Citrus, and it sounds like this. And for the effects, I actually boosted the high frequencies quite a lot, deleted the low frequencies. I have a bunch of reverb on it with a, a little bit of decay. Sound good is here to just kind of boost everything a bit. And some more EQ, just like adjusting the high frequencies and the mid frequencies. It's not too important, but you can just adjust your sounds to fit your mix a little bit more. The last sound of the bass, like it's not completely just the bass, but it's kind of like the lower notes, the bass notes, even though we have some other sounds in the mix. The last one is the brass. And the brass you can find in the PAX instruments, orchestral brass section. So, and this is the brass sound. The effects are the same as the pizzicato sound, so the two orchestral sounds have the same effects and really just like boosting the high frequencies a bit to make it sound more crispy. And together all the sounds in this bass group sound like this. So it might sound kind of odd by itself, but with the melody and the rest of the sounds, it will make more sense. For the bass melody, I did a really simple, I did a pretty simple melody here, just like. So we have normal notes like this, and then few of the notes that go one after another. And I also enabled swing in FL Studio, which makes these notes like kind of offbeat, even though you cannot see it, there is this swing, the notes are a little bit offbeat. You can hear it pretty much. I'm, I'm gonna show you the difference with and without the swing. Focus on these three notes. That's with the swing and without the swing is. It has different rhythm. This is the swing again. So it's way better with the swing. Without the swing it's like kind of odd. So that's the bass notes. You can do one of these sometimes. Where you switch between higher and lower notes. But yeah, it's a pretty basic bass melody. So the piano follows the same melody, but I created chords for that. So the way you do this, you just copy the bass notes, which we have here on the as the lowest notes. And then to create a chord, you basically click on the first note, skip two notes, then skip three notes, and then put the third note in. So that's our chord. That's how you make chords in a nutshell. That's how you made the basic major and minor chords. So if the chord doesn't work, just uh, move the middle note one up. If you skip two notes and put the third one in, it's minor chord. 
and if you skip three notes, put the fourth one in, it's a major chord. So the difference between minor and major is just the middle note. You can also use the stamp tool in FL Studio, which you just choose minor and then bam, you have the chord right here. I still rather just do it myself for some reason. And what I did here is created these basic chords as I just mentioned, major and minor chords. And then all the middle notes, I select them and put them octave up. So the way you do this, you hold control, drag your mouse around the middle notes and then hold control, arrow up and you put them octave up. And then our chords have a little bit of a different sound because before it would be like this. And now we put them octave up we have more high frequencies. So that's pretty nice. So these are our chords. They follow the same notes as the bass. And I'm using actually a grand piano from Instruments Keyboard Grand Piano. Again, everyone should have it in their FL Studio Producer Edition. And then I'm using another piano, which is FL Keys. And I chose the piano FL basic preset and changed the hardness a little bit like this. And it sounds like this. And together they sound like this. And the effects I'm using are the same as all the other acoustic sounds, I guess. For some reason, it so happened that I used the same effects for all the acoustic sounds. You don't have to do that, but I guess it worked pretty well in this case. And actually, these effects are the most important for the piano. You want to delete the low frequencies, you want to boost the high frequencies quite a lot. That creates this nice house piano, because without the effects, it would sound like this. And with the effects, it's like this. So yeah, some reverb on it. Sound good is there to boost the high frequencies even more. And then I have some more EQ, just uh, adjusting the high and mid frequencies and creates this really nice piano. Also, I put some of the notes higher on velocity that can also make a little bit of a difference. So together with the bass, it sounds like this. And that's our bass and the piano. Still doesn't sound amazing, but with the melody, we're gonna really round this up. So now the melody. Now for the melody, I'm using a bunch of sounds, all from FL Studio, don't worry. So we have this vocal shot. And you can find this in Pax Vocals, and it's the one called Glory Web C. So it was like this originally, but I just changed the length to like this. Right, and then I change the out fader all the way up. And I also change the start a little bit because it was like this before. And I wanted it to hit right away, so. So just change the start point a little bit. And then we have this nice vocal one shot. For the effects, I have quite a bit of reverb using the old fruity reverb. And if you don't have it here, you just click more plugins and find it there. 0 0.6 seconds decay. 26% reverb. Sound good is here with the preset D, which boosts a little bit different frequencies. So that's that. Then we have Stereo Shaper with the Stereo Eyes 2 preset, which makes everything wider in the mix. So the vocal, the melody is not in the center of the mix, but it's more to the sides. And then I have EQ, deleted the low frequencies because we don't need them, and boosted the high frequencies quite a bit. Then we have this sound. <laughs> which is from Harmless, it's called Neo Retro, here it is, number one. Yeah, so I adjusted the attack a little bit here. So we have more of an attack and decay as well. So we have this little bit like Don Diablo plug. So yeah, just adjust these things accordingly. And then we have this sound, which is pretty nice. And then I use the brass sound again. It's the same one as the first one, but this time I'm using higher notes. And I adjusted the amplifier envelope and just uh, put the sustain all the way down. And change the decay like this. So we have shorter notes here, instead of long notes. So yeah, just, just go to Zone Amplifier and change these values. And for the effects, I have distortion on it. Without it, it sounds like this. And with it. So yeah, just a fruity fast distortion, set up like this. 
and is also routed to number eight, which is for the acoustic orchestral sounds, I guess. So same effects as before, no low frequencies, boosted high frequencies, stuff like this, the same ones as before. So yeah, that seems to work pretty well in these uh, songs that you boost the high frequencies for the melodies and supporting sounds and have the bass in the low frequencies. So that's our melody right here. Actually pretty simple melody following the same rhythm as the bass most of the time, but the melody itself is kind of different. Again, if you have swing enabled as I do, you can do these notes one after another and they will have this offbeat vibe to it and they will sound more, more groovy. So make sure to experiment with swing, it actually makes a big difference in music like this. So that's most of the stuff done. And then we have some effects like uh, the sweep. And also this uh, reversed melody riser. The way you create this is you select the first note of the melody. You record it in Edison, just uh, press record on play, play the song. Then double click the song jump, delete and just uh, copy this one in the playlist. Double click it, reverse it and there we have it. And that is pretty much it guys. Let's hear the finished result. Enjoy. And yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out my merch store, link will be in the description. And check out the big fat Christmas bundle to get sounds from all the genres possible. But yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not that hard to create this, it's usually just about layering a bunch of sounds for the bass, then supporting it with piano and then having a top melody playing a different melody as well. Make sure to check out the links in the description to get this FLP file or get some of my merch if you want to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.